Hey friends, Shady Like a Tree here, and welcome into Reminiscing with Shady, episode 91. This is March Madness 2000. Uh, this is a college video game uh, based off of, uh, uh, you know, the 1999-2000 season, I believe. So it's the year before the actual year. Uh, it was developed by Black Ops Entertainment, published by EA on the PlayStation platform. Um, it featured uh, former, you know, Maryland player Steve Francis on the cover. He was in the NBA. He played for the Houston Rockets and think a couple of other teams uh, but what this game kind of does is it's a uh, it's a basketball game uh, it's kind of like a lot of the others from the era i recently did ncaa basketball uh, 99 uh, i believe that was final four that i did um, and that game i talked about how easy it was but we're up big on michigan this is ohio state versus michigan as many of you know i'm from ohio um, this is kind of a big time rivalry and having done duke north carolina in the other game i thought i'd do ohio state michigan uh, in this game uh, one of the notable features I will mention about this game and reasons why I think I like it so much is because it has kind of the, the home court hype bar, uh, if you will, um, and a momentum bar. So a team with a lot of momentum uh, gets kind of bonuses and things like that. Making shots, playing good defense all add to your momentum. Timeouts uh, take away from it as well as, um, you know, kind of the momentum shifting from one team to another. So if they make a shot, um, you know, it'll take away my momentum if, if I miss a shot. Or if I make a shot when they have momentum, it'll take it away. Timeouts also kind of cool the momentum down. Losing the ball on turnovers does kind of a similar thing as well. I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but this game was released on November 30th, 1999. I will say that this game was uh, one of my favorite um, sports games of this time. Uh, I like the college basketball game. I did. I was really into college basketball game or into college basketball um, at this time in my life. You know, Duke had just kind of, um, I just kind of discovered Duke's kind of glory days in the early 90s with Bobby Hurley and Christian Leitner. You know, I was I was a very young kid back then, and I was kind of really into college basketball, especially around, you know, March. You know, these games came out kind of at the start of NCAA season, and by the time I was able to get it, you know, after Christmas, um, you know, we were kind of in the thick of the college basketball season and March Madness was starting and uh, the tournament, which, you know, is a big deal in my family, um, you know, was kind of going on by the time I was really kind of at the end of the game. So I could kind of play out the tournament as I wished um, and kind of make my own tournaments, which is something I used to do. Uh, I used to kind of get all the matchups together and figure out who would win and, um, you know, kind of play the game from one side and make all the teams that I liked win. And it would always end up being Ohio State versus Duke in the championship. And I always let the CPU play that game because I could never pick which team was my favorite. Um, but yeah, so uh, one of the things I just like about this is it's a fun game with friends. As you can see, Michigan now has the momentum, uh, as I mentioned before. But one of the things is this is just a fun game to play against and with friends. Um, it's, it's not the most polished of sports games in the history of sports games. Um, but on some level, it's polished enough that I think you can have a have a nice, fun experience um, and kind of enjoy what this game is really all about, which is just kind of basketball. These graphics for back in the day were kind of some of the best graphics around. Um, you know, Spider Man, uh, Spider Man Two, which was the episode just before this, um, when it came out, uh, you know, a few years later, it was kind of top of the line graphics. But if you look at games like this, and uh, I should have totally made that shot, but when you look at games like this, um, you know, there's there's something to be said about how good this looks for the kind of console. I mean, we're talking about a console that was a few years old at this point. Actually, the PlayStation Two was about out. It came out a few years later, right around the corner. Um, and you know this was kind of kind of a crowning kind of style for the PlayStation was was these kind of graphical styles and if you've seen me play NBA in the Zone which was a very early reminiscing with Shady um, I think from a few years ago um, it kind of has the similar style and is the similar kind of presentation about it. But anyway, as always, I'm very curious to see if you have any experience with this game. I know that this game uh, wasn't really the best seller of the franchise, and there were a lot of college basketball games. There was Final Four, there was Game Breaker, there was um, you know, March Madness too. So there was a number of different um, NCAA games and NCAA basketball games specifically um, that were that were available at the time. So it was really kind of a diverse and Michigan gets a nice little alley-oop there. They're trying to make a comeback on me, but I think the lead is just too, too big for them to really make any sort of 
dent in it that's going to make me fearful for um you know what i'm what i'm trying to do but anyway guys uh, i don't want to keep you for too long uh, i just wanted to show you kind of ha uh, one half of the gameplay um because we do manage here to to win pretty effectively i might say i must say but one real quick story I did want to uh, kind of share with you guys just to kind of showcase the Ohio State-Michigan rivalry is I had a friend who was a big Michigan fan, and I don't know why. I don't know if he was outside his mind or what. But uh, he always insisted that he could play with any Michigan team on any game, and he would win hands down because Michigan players were so much better than Ohio State players, even though they weren't ranked or, or weren't that good you know, ratings-wise in the game. And so I challenged him to, to this actual game. I think Michigan is, uh, is actually a decent squad this year, so, but I challenged him to this game, and I said, okay, well, if you, if you beat me, then you have to wear... If you beat me, I have to wear Michigan clothes to school. And if you beat me, then I, if I beat you, then you have to wear Ohio State clothes to school. And he accepted the challenge. We told his mom, which is where we were playing this game at his house. And she, she watched and I beat him by like 30 points or something like that. And he was not happy about it, but he was a good sport. He did wear the, uh, the Michigan or the Ohio State clothes to, to school the next day. Uh, well, not the next day. I think it was like the next week. But uh, it was kind of good to get a little little backroom victory on him. Thank you so very much for watching. And uh, like I said before, you know, leave a comment. Let me know what your experiences are with this game. If you like this game, uh, if you've played this game before, if you haven't, let me know. I'm curious to see that in the comments. Leave a like and let me know if you like this game. Uh, and if you like this video, as always. And uh, if you're not subscribed, please check out my channel. I have a new Reminiscing with Shady every week. But thank you very much for watching. This has been uh, Reminiscing with Shady episode 91, March Madness 2000, for the original Sony PlayStation. Uh, I appreciate it again, guys. Thank you very much, and don't forget to be awesome.